Tonight we've got baseball from the banks of the Allegheny PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Tonight a battle of two first place squads between the L.A. Bryce Wilson will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan please. Leading off tonight for the Dodgers. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. First pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ah, he comes up empty that time as he's underneath it 0 and 2. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. And a fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels exactly. off base, and that's right just team. what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this high. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Mookie Betts goes down for out number two in the top half. At the plate now, A.J. Pollock, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He'll start this one at 269. 11 home runs, 39 driven in. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. McCutcheon gets there for the catch and that ends the inning. One two three go the Dodgers. Now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. Clayton Kershaw is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey this guy's had a really solid season. What shows me. Meanwhile now this is a fair ball down the line and left and that ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he's called out on a close play at third. Thought he might have a chance to get in there safely when he got a good jump from second. But that was a good throw and a good tag to cut him down. into center field line drive base hit and the streak will continue as he creeps even higher up the all time list. Hey now into the 30s D. Do you think he starts looking ahead thinking about that magic number maybe getting it to 40. Yeah I don't think you ever worry about Joe D's number but when you start climbing into the 30s man there's not many guys that have been there. This is just a steady diet of staying in the zone for over a month. Next here is Dave Parker. He begins this one with the fourth best batting average in the National League. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play that retires the side. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Will Smith is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And it's fouled away. Ready with the 0 2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0 and 2. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. He froze him on the fastball there. Justin Turner goes down for out number two in the top half. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McCutcheon finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Dodgers down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Jason Bay. Hit in the air down the right field line. Bats on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting fifth. Stepping in next, Key Brian Hayes, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Back goes Taylor to the track. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting six, the second baseman, Bill Mazeroski. Stepping up is Bill Mazeroski. He carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. This guy's having a really good year for his age, but this is something we've seen a lot lately. Young players coming up and impacting a lineup. Dan Dero, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four of five prior to that. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Pollock will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Fouled off. Oh the old classic two strike let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Got to believe you got to work the corners a little bit more. Fastball command is paramount at this level. The next one two pitch. Fouled away. Hey have an A.B. right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And this is swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now and that's your first out of the inning. Now at the plate Chris Taylor and as you check out his righty lefty splits no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. And now the first pitch. Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here. Taylor behind 0 and 2 the count. Hey he finds himself down 0 2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two strike hitter. But this at bat he's going to have to find a way to nickel and dime and get this thing back to even. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Chris Taylor is out number two here in the third inning and he fouls this one off. Hey when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher attack with that pitch get ahead get the offense on their toes that opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And it's fouled away. The one two fouled off again a one two and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning. We're back as the Pirates prepare for their at bats here in the third inning and this lineup has been terrific for this club all year. In fact, with the highest team batting well, average, on base percentage, the and catcher. slugging percentage Number in all six. of Major League Baseball, it's probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense in the sport these days. As one player told me earlier, yeah, I mean, you don't have to dig too deep into the stats to understand the level we're playing at. We have a special group, we know it, and we still think we can get better. Safe to say no one else around the league hopes they can, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. No pitcher. First pitch fastball, Number middle four. in, and he's able to drive that for a nice single. Into the box, Bryce Wilson. 
Liner in there for a base hit. Hey, pretty good swing right there by the pitcher. I know he'll be telling his boys in the dugout to take some hitting lessons from him if he's going to square line drives up all day. That brings up Wander Franco. That's a strike to throw down. Throw won't get him. You know, catchers don't work on throwing to third quite as much as they do to second. And I'm sure he's not too happy with himself about that one. A good throw might have got him, but that one just sailed on him a bit. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hard hit ball to second. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. Now both men are across to score. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. A minute ago, this thing was tied up, but when you're giving up triples, now you're not going to be close for too long. Now a two-run lead and a base hit away from making it three. Digging in will be Andrew McCutcheon. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made, and here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to now score from third. It's a 3 0 game. game. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Throw on to Muncie, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. So they pick up three runs. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last the inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Fastball swung on and missed. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here he comes again, one, two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Mookie Betts will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Behind 0 and 2 now. Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. And he fouls this one off. No runs, no hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. And it's fouled away. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Now into the box. A.J. Pollard. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that. Uh, we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Still down, three, nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jason Bay. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner, but that'll be off the right field wall. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a now hustle batting. double. Third baseman, hey. 
Key Brian Hayes digging in now. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. The batter, number nine. Second baseman. And now, yeah. Bill Mazeroski. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Here's the first pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. On the move is Pollock. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, number six. Next to hit, Michael Perez. First pitch on its way. And this is lined hard to deep left. Pollock is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Pirates four and the Dodgers nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Will Smith will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Hit in the air down the right field line. It's down for extra bases, and the Dodgers have their first hit of the game. And it's a good start to the inning for the Dodgers on the leadoff double. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Behind 0-2 now. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right, but what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Swing and a liner. Uh, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Now batting the first baseman. And now the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Fouled off. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno. Number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else. And he did just that. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Swing and a ground ball for Mazeroski at second. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. But the Dodgers do strike for two, coming on this two. Now it'll be Ralph Kiner. Leading up for the Pirates, the first baseman. Ready with Ralph. the first pitch. Here it comes. Kiner. Hit hard up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Hey, nice A-B right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. Bryce Wilson stands in as he looks at a called strike. One for one with a single so far. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Oh. 
Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. First offering and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one. Kiner leads off first with one away. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Filed off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it. High set by Kershaw, now the pitch. Hit sharply toward the right side. And again, he's got himself a base hit, make it three for three. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Now that the center field. Well, with that base hit, Debro, he's three quarters of the way to the cycle. The only one he needs now is the home run, and he should get another AB in this one. Yeah, 100 percent, Dan. People are like to downplay the cycle. And both runners are safe. The double steal executed perfectly. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Hit on the ground is short. Throw the first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. Now back, right fielder, Dave Parker. And that brings in the Cobra, Dave Parker. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. He's set and the pitch. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Shot down the line. It's a fair ball. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Just some more of the now same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. Here comes the Dodger manager making his way toward the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around one for two in the ball game thus far. Oh and one count and the pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. Hey guys that fastball just registered ninety seven miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed. Well the left fielder's on it and that retires the side. So it's two runs. Gavin Lux will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Now the pitch. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Lux is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah, and it works for him. It works for him in a lot of ways, like you said, Matty. Hits the ball on the ground. He has a potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy. First delivery to him. 
Trey Turner is at the plate as he watches ball one. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. Mookie Betts is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. And he fouls this one off. Turner, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. And it's fouled away. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Behind 0-2 now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Now another 0-2, and he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is... Bottom of the sixth inning on its way, but first, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Derek Shelton during the commercial break about the Pirates' offense, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're flat out doing an outstanding job at picking on pitches that they can do something with. And by that, he means pitches inside the strike zone. The numbers definitely back that up as well. Less than 10% of their swings have been at pitches outside the zone. For comparison, the major now league back. average Second is somewhere baseman. around 30 percent, something they want to keep Let's up as this game game. progresses, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Next to hit is Bill Mazeroski. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far, just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball, middle cut, places it right back where it came from. To the plate now, Michael Perez. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Oh, a double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that brings up Will Smith. Offense just needs to find a way to get that pass the baton mentality. Starts one at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Maybe if they could get a few guys on the pillow, someone can bop one and get them back in this. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The third baseman. Justin Turner Justin. is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Even though we're late into this ball game, this nope. guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. One ball, one strike to count. In for strike two. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game the today, batter. Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of and we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Dodgers down in order. Now with the plate is Ralph Kiner. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. 
Terrell. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Niner. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step now for out number one. Number and now it's the Pirates pitcher, Bryce Wilson. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So the next to bat will be Wander Franco, singled in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's putting together a monster line in this one. They just can't get him out. There's a saying amongst the offense, Dan, anybody Look can get three team. hits in a big league game. Andrew. It's that fourth one that separates you. Oh, we'll talk about it. He's having a good week in one night. Can you imagine four hits in one game? I'd say he's having a pretty good day. Franco leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Line drive base hit into the left center field gap. Long throw to third. And they'll get the ball back in quickly, holding him to a single. Two quick outs from the 8 9 guys in the order, but the top of the order, it's a different story. A knock and then another single back to back, and now you've got traffic with the big guys coming up. Now the double steal is on here. In there, now the throw. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two out double steal. The 0 1 pitch. Hard hit ball to short. Scooped up. Throw on to first is in time, and that snuffs out the Bucko rally as the inning is over. Pirates strand a couple. They lead it 6 to 2. Next up is Max Muncie. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Nah, they just haven't had much of an answer, Matty. They've been off balance and baffled all game. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound the strike zone. But here, get aggressive. First delivery to him. Fouled off. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bay is going to have room, however, as he makes the catch in deep left center field for the first out. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Chris Taylor is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1.
just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to bat? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0-2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty much has been sure outs other than that one hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. Cody Bellinger is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Into the windup and the pitch. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game. Is Bruce Star Grotterall is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that brings up Jason Bay. Fouled straight back. The wind up and the 0 1. And another foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. With that, the Buckos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. Well, you know what? Now good hitters Third are base. good hitters for a reason, D. Oh, yeah. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Pollock has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now back. So next to hit is Bill Mazeroski. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the AB on its way. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. The 1 0 home. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one on to first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play, and the inning is. Now the pitch. The second base. Trey Turner is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. First offering. Popped him up. Hayes waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And now here is A.J. Pollock, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. To the left side, but it's well fouled. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit onto deep left field, and this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. Here now is Will Smith. Well, that pitch was grooved right down Main Street. He couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. And he fouls this one off. Looking for the complete game, here's the pitch. 
And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Catch is made, and the Pirates will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. The Pittsburgh Pirates with a division-leading 60th team win this year. Bryce Wilson.